Hello Libras, the Abby Phoenix here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are returning, hello to those of you who are new. We are here for your March 2021 reading. Um, while I was channeling your energy, you know, like I was sifting through my emotions when it seems like, you know, like I'm not hearing the message or seeing it come through. I sift through my emotions to be like, you know, how do I feel right now? And um, there is a sense of happiness um but it seems like it's a little muted and i feel that's because there's something that you you're working through libras um i do feel like you know you're you're trying to figure out how certain things make you feel um but let's let's see what energy comes out for you what I have channeled for all 12 signs is that the Pisces new moon is going to be here in about a week um, is going to be playing a role. I think that it really is going to be the kickstart of uh, certain things transpiring um, from the, the messages that I, I pull in your uh, readings this month. So let's see what comes out for you. Um, in addition to that, I, I've been talking about this over on Facebook and Instagram, but please, please, please make sure that you're paying attention to your body. And when I do these readings, I, I've said this, you know, several times, and I've actually had different bodily reactions in um, some of the readings I've done thus far. But I swear, you guys put me through the ringer because I'll be like, is it me? Is it me or is it just because of what I, you know, what I'm picking up on? But um, please pay attention to what your body is telling you. Um, as Pisces season moves forward. And I feel like for you all too, you know, um, because of airy season, uh, literally being around the corner here, that always sheds light into your relationship. So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, some of this energy does have to do with partnerships for you. Um, and I, I did just hear forgiveness, uh, like thorough forgiveness, um, which isn't to say, you know, like you, you go through all aspects of forgiveness at once, because there are some times when I know that your mental may have you revisiting things and you get frustrated and mad all over again, but just keep, keep doing what you, what you know, uh, you need to do Libras. So. All right. We've got some major arcana here. Oof, okay. Okay, so you have the Fool, which starts off the Major Arcana. You have the Magician, and you have the High Priestess. Manifestation Station <laughs> for you all, Libras. That was the Ace of Wands. We have the King of Swords here, which I think is going to be your energy. We have the Magician. We have the High Priestess. We have the Five of Wands. So there is a lot of physical action that's taking place in your world right now. And I don't know why I want to peek the Six of Cups. Okay, okay, okay. I was talking about forgiveness, right? Um, I was talking about previous relationships that are making themselves um, known to you right now. Hold on. Your incense is about to go out. And I want to make sure we keep this energy as clean as possible. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Libras, for those that this message is going to resonate with this month, um, I think that you all have been battling some things. 
Wands energy, yes, can definitely signify like the external world, um, you know, uh, like the, the physical plane, the things that you actually do, the ways in which you act um, to 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 others um, when it pertains to things that are outside of yourself. But in some cases, too, I do feel like some of those actions are within us. Um, some of the fight and the turmoil that we have, the passion that we invoke when it comes to acting in a certain way begins within us. <clears throat> and so with that being said, I do see that this has more to do with you than with anybody else. The Six of Cups was underneath the Fool at the bottom of the deck, which I do feel is where some of that forgiveness energy is coming from. But right now, the purpose and the focus is on you. Um, so we have Wands energy here and we have manifestation energy just all up and through this thing. Where as I was talking about in the beginning of the channeling, when it comes to realizing what it is that you truly want, um, you, you have the capabilities, you have the powers, you have the support in order to get that done. It's just how are you going to do that? I feel like with the fool here, you first have to make a plan and not, you know, the typical Libra plan where I can literally plan every single detail um, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about understanding what are those wants? What are those desires? You know, has how you've acted in the past gotten you the results that you wanted? If not, you do need to sit there and reevaluate. That's the type of plan that I'm talking about. And then as you start to, um, you know, maneuver through through that space, this Ace of Wands card, I feel like is with every single new opportunity that you are presented with, Please make sure that you are, you know, using those as, as chances to choose different, to do different, so that you can possibly see different. And for this King of Swords to be here, I feel like as you start to practice in that way, as you start to really hone in and understand more and more about what it is that you truly do want, you know, these manifestation uh energies are going to be able to produce more for you um with the magician i feel like it's you know being able to collect those tools being able to you know put your plan into action um in the physical realm and then the high priestess is being able to utilize it in the spiritual realm this five of wands i kind of feel like this should be more like this um <clears throat> where you know again this these new opportunities come up continue to challenge yourself continue to, um, you know, uh, change your normal. And then you you get to finally be here. You get to end up as the King of Swords in control of, uh, in control to a certain extent, you know, um, being in control or thinking that you have control over any and everything um, is, a, is a dying breed when you're into spirituality, right? When you're into... Um, ascension, when you're into empowering yourself, knowing that you're able to manifest is great. But, you know, there are methods to manifesting. There are things that you have to do that tell you that you have to relinquish control um, because you're not going to be able to control anybody else, anything else. You are only able to control yourself, what you believe in, um, what you what you see, what you want to have happen. And so, you know, it, it becomes murky to explain, but it makes perfect sense when you're actually in, in alignment with what um, what you need to be doing, what you're responsible for. Um, I feel like this journey is, um, it's starting now. When I'm looking at the one and the two for the magician and the high priestess, I feel as if, you know, it's starting now for 2021 and it's going to be moving forward into 2022. 
for you, uh, where this year it's really going to be about, you know, being able to see how your uh, thought process is being revamped and things like that um, produces and manifests things in the real world. Next year, it's going to be more on the spiritual level. So this is like long, long, long term for you. You know, like we're not looking at just a few months here, um, but we're looking at about a year, almost two years since we're only in, you know, early March here. Um, but what you are able to put into practice now, I think is going to be uh, very prevalent in how you are conducting yourself next year. And furthermore, I think that you're going to even start to see that other people notice it. You know, when you are embodying this energy, it's going to be picked up by other people. And it's going to be in the moments when you're probably not even thinking about it. It's not anything on your mind. It's not even a focus of yours that people are going to be reminding you of like your energy. There's something about you. I think that's one of the best compliments to ever receive because you can't fake that, you know. Um, I absolutely love when I see how animals react to humans because they're able to see and feel things that we as humans forget because we are able to utilize logic more than our emotions if we wanted to. Um, in some aspects, we're able to even do more things physically and detach ourselves from um, from certain things, but animals, they don't, you know? Um, there's just a sense of things that are innate with them. Um, it's, just, it's just their nature. And when they, you know, gravitate towards certain people, there's, there's good in them that you just can't fake. There's love there that you cannot fake. And so I think that the people that are going to be seeing this growth in you, this change in you, it's real. It's real. Yeah, I'm not I'm not picking up on anything else as I'm looking at the cards. Um and so that's probably where the, you know, forgiveness comes in because I, I can't ignore seeing the Six of Cups here. Um, it's the fact that, you know, even if they did you wrong or whatever it may be that requires you to be forgiving and continuously forgiving of that energy, it's helping you get here. Okay, so just know that everything that's coming up for you right now is to help you get to this King of Swords energy. It's to help you get to this place of power, self-power. Um, Distant Thunder, clear the air is your oracle message. Clear the air, right? Challenge yourself. Keep doing things differently as the lessons present themselves. And the bottom of the deck, wise leader, you are a beacon for other. Can can't make it up. You can't make, you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. I was just talking about this in the previous reading. Um, I don't know necessarily, I, it may have been Virgos, but it may have been one of the others. I don't remember. Um, but I was just talking about how, you know, Sometimes when I am channeling messages, I'm like, oh, does this make any sense? And the oracle messages usually, um, okay, what? I don't know. Um, usually just tie everything together. So those who it's supposed to resonate with, I, I really hope that it does. If you want um, uh, details into how this transpires specifically for you, Feel free to book a reading with me uh, by emailing me at the Ivy Phoenix Guidance at gmail.com. Join me and the rest of the Fire family on Instagram and on Facebook. Like, share, comment, subscribe here on YouTube. I thank you so much for all of your continuous support, and I will see you in April. Mwah. Be blessed.